Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Big waves to you. So I got to tell you a funny. I'm sitting here. I got people all around me. And I said, we're going to lighten your day today. Like, like, like we're about to bring some good information. And I recruited them to the coaches corner this morning. So they're all around me. Yeah. So good to see everybody. And I hope you've had a great week. We're about to close it out this week. And um, the word for the week or word for the day on this Friday was actually sent to us wanting to look back at the word willpower. Okay, willpower. We've actually had several requests. I want to let everybody know on here, you're sending those requests to Andrew Rosser on a word, and we are getting, we will be getting to them. If we hadn't got to them yet, we, they are in our bank to get to. So this word was willpower, and it's the ability to control one's action, emotion, or urges, urges. Is where I went this morning. Strong determination that allows one to do something difficult. How many of you have urges? We could be having the ice cream talk this morning or the sweet talk, sweet tooth talk. Uh, I came across this as willpower is like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger it gets. And I'm actually reading a, a, a book right now, or actually listening to an audio right now as I work out in the morning, early morning. You there? Can you hear me, Andrew? Okay. I can hear you. Good deal. So this is called Bright Line Eating. Bright Line Eating. And I'm listening to this audio as I work out. And it was a recommendation from one of our owners of our company talking about how he went through a transformation of over uh, close to 60 pounds. And um, it's a powerful book. And it's really got my mind focused around, you know, just willpower. Willpower, it's a muscle that the more you train it, the stronger it gets. And Many people believe they could improve their lives if only they had more of that mysterious thing called willpower. Like, think about it. Like, like maybe I'm, I'm not knocking alcohol, uh, but think about the people that like to drink, right? There's probably times in their life they wake up in the morning and they're like, I wish I'd have had more willpower last night. You know, have you ever, well, I'm not going to ask for a show of hands. Have you ever been there? So, okay, and um, same way with food. What about exercise? Have you ever got yourself in great shape and then wonder what happened two years down the road? You're like looking back at previous pictures going, why did I stop? Willpower. And so if you look at willpower with more, quote, self-control, we could all eat right. We could all exercise regularly. We could all maybe avoid alcohol. We could save for retirement more. We could stop procrastinating. How many of you don't have to raise your hand? Possibly are in the procrastination train. Like, like I'm going to get there. I just hadn't got there yet. Right? I'm going to call someone today. I just hadn't in a month. Right? It's, we're all there. We all have our different degrees of procrastination in different areas. But think about if we had that self-determination, that self-control, that willpower to go, nope, it's part of my daily ritual. So that's kind of where I went this morning. And Andrea, we, we, we talked about this, and she's going to talk about like, like things – that can help us create that willpower and that drive to just achieve more that we want to achieve. Because I believe that everybody wants to be healthy. I believe everybody, there's nobody going, you know what? I won't love handles, right? Now that might've been, you know, I mean, I look at me, I go, you know, I don't want love handles, but with willpower, I, I know exactly what to do to get that off. 
How many of you go, you know what? I want a deeper bank account. I would like enough cash in my bank account that when I lay my head down at night, I'm not worrying. When I go look at the menu, I want to order what I want, not what it costs, like different things. Well, we can achieve all that, but we got to have this self-control and this willpower that will drive us home in the areas that we want to grow, thrive, and achieve more. So that's my thought on willpower today. I really want to leave the time to Andrea because she's going to talk about some things we can do that will really help us in the willpower game. So, Andrea, it's all yours. Well, thank you so much, Coach. And, you know, I think one of the things about willpower is we think that it's infinite, right? If we were just stronger, if we were just more dedicated, if we were just more whatever, right? If we were just better humans, we would have this infinite supply of willpower. But if you really start looking into it, we realize that willpower is finite. So we have to set ourselves up to not only grow our willpower, but to do things to not deplete it. So I'm gonna to talk today, today about, you know, how we can grow our willpower, have a little bit more, um, and that's really what I'm gonna focus on. But the quote that I found was, willpower is not genetic. It requires the will to resist, and the power of a resolved mind. And I think that word resolved is so powerful because when we make the decision to do something or not do something, and we just commit to ourselves, the, the willpower goes away. Like I think about, you know, I started making my bed first thing in the morning. I don't know when, um, not my whole life. Like sometimes you could have come into my bedroom and it looked like, I don't know, I live with monkeys or something. So, you know, but I made this decision a few years ago. I don't know how many that the first thing I'm going to do in the morning is I'll just get up and make my bed. And in the beginning, it took willpower. Like I might have walked away from the bed sometimes, went, made it to the bathroom and went, shoot, had to turn around and go back. And it took this, this effort on my part. But now making my bed I don't even know if I wake up for it. It's just part of my morning. I get up, I make the bed, and then I move into the bathroom. So it no longer takes willpower. So in the beginning, I made the resolve that made the decision, and then it became part of my habit. And that's one of the things that you can do when you make a decision to do something, make it part of your habit, and then the need for willpower goes away. But in order to increase that willpower, first of all, we got to feed ourselves. Sounds a little crazy. Um, maybe not to me. You guys know I'm an eater. But skipping meal, meals is something that, you know, if you're busy, if you're, you know, kind of live a frantic life, you're in and out, in and out, it can become really easy to skip meals. But then that will tank our willpower across the board. Doesn't even matter what we're trying to have willpower for. Next is work on one change at a time. Anybody else guilty of waking up and deciding that everything I'm doing is wrong? You know, like I'm eating wrong. I'm not exercising right. I need to do eight more things for my business. And I need to do 14 things for my kids. And then blah, blah, blah. And I try to change the whole world at once. And then I burn out 47 seconds in. So just pick one thing that you're working on. So maybe it might be a cluster of activities, like you're focusing on your health, or it could be you're focusing on your business, but pick one cluster at a time to focus on, make that a habit, and then move on to adding the next thing in. Next, another one just taking care of you is get a good night's sleep. When you don't sleep enough, you wake up and three quarters of your willpower tank is empty. So then you're probably going to eat a little different and act a little different. Everything is just going to kind of go downhill from there. So again, busy folks, it's hard to prioritize that sleep, but work on it because that will help increase your willpower. Next is steer clear of temptation. So when I'm focusing on, you know, avoiding the ice cream, I probably shouldn't be hanging out at Baskin Robbins. Um, so when there's something that you're working on clearing out of your life or bringing in, steer clear of the temptation. And that goes to the next one is if you have to be in that environment, make a plan for that temptation. So maybe I'm going back to ice cream and I know that my kid's got a birthday party 
at an ice cream parlor. Well, then I need to have something in my mind to know that this is what I'm going to do when I am tempted. I know it's horrible. Now all I can think about is ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not on the list right now. Okay, so next is develop small habits. So this kind of goes back to making that bed. So pick the small things with the good habits. And what that does is when you pick a small thing, that small habit, you're making a promise to yourself. And then you're keeping a promise to yourself, which helps strengthen your willpower. Next is make a manageable to-do list. And I can be guilty. My to-do list can be bonkers. And I think because I like to cross things off. So I will put everything on there. But then it's not manageable in that I can't get it all done in a day. So I'm telling myself that it's okay not to keep my promises to myself. So make that list manageable. If I'm writing down a list and maybe I've got stuff I need to do all week, we'll break it up into that week so you you know and hold yourself accountable for what you have to do each day. Um, take frequent breaks. So when we're fighting through something, when we're struggling with it, give yourself a, a chance to step back, recharge, move back in. And with that, prayer and meditation can absolutely help us. So when you're feeling depleted in your willpower, pray. And maybe don't pray for willpower, but just take a moment to connect with God. Show your gratitude. Same with meditation. Everybody is still talking about ice cream over here. I can't look at the chats. Um, so I'm just going to focus right here. But if we take that mental break and to connect with something bigger than ourselves, it can help refill that willpower tank. And then next, choose your reward. So if you are going to go 30 days with no ice cream, which it seems like I'm going to go about 15 more minutes, if you're going to go 30 days Days without it, well, then find a reward that's maybe not connected to the thing that you're trying to step away from. So maybe if I go 30 days without this treat, then I get myself a new pair of shoes or a movie night with the kids, whatever it may be, but find a way to reward yourself. And then lastly, anticipate those roadblocks. So we're all going to come up with things that pop up. You know, maybe you're on a meal plan and all of a sudden you're traveling for two weeks. Oh, Ann Wilson. <laughs> oh, geez, oh, beats. Yes, thankfully the, will, the, the apple crack is gone. So everybody ate it, so that's gone. But we, maybe you're going back to Utah and you're going to see Ann Wilson and she is going to give you apple crack and you're going to want to eat it all in one moment. Just anticipate that we know that it's going to happen. I know that that apple crack is hopefully going to be in my future and I'm going to be so grateful for it, but I'm just going to have a little bit each day instead of eating an entire gallon um, in a day. So just anticipate those roadblocks in order to move past it. So thank you guys so much. I am one track minded right now. So we're going to have to do a hard distraction to get away from that ice cream, but thank you. <laughs> hey, great. No, no, great tips, great strategies. and. Carlita, I got to say this to you um, over in Canada. Thanks for your messages. Uh, we sure do appreciate you being a part of the Coach's Corner. And guys, we, um, we hope you have a great weekend and a happy Friday. We'll see you for everybody that's in our company. We'll see you on the call this evening. Um, and let's get the word out to everybody. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Grateful for you. God bless you. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.